And what's this guy doing? Monkeying around? <laughs> Oh, hello and welcome. You are very welcome here. Wanted to show you that beautiful scenery. Like I say, it's more about the journey than the actual destination. Isn't that just beautiful? Well, we're stopping here in a town called Madrid. Some people say Madrid, but I learned, uh, learned that it was Madrid from a movie called Wild Hogs. And this is where a lot of it was filmed, right here in <laughs> right here in Madrid. Now I've been up here uh, uh, a few times, just a beautiful, quaint uh, uh, mining town. It has some great uh, mining little houses and all sorts of uh, shops and restaurants and a saloon. We're just gonna look real quick because we're heading up the road to a place called Los Rios and see if we can find some ghosts. There's probably some around here too. Uh, check out this place. Looks like it's seen better days, but very cool. I bet there's some ghosts around there. We are on the Turquoise Trail, all the way from uh, Cedar Crest, which is the East Mountains, all the way up to Santa Fe, the back roads to Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's what's called the Turquoise Trail, and we'll talk about that in a little bit here when we get up to uh, Los Rios. This is a huge destination. I think it's just uh, still a little too cool but this place is just really rocking, really rocking in the summer. Imagine over 600 years ago, the Tano, T-A-N-O Indians resided and farmed in this area well before the arrival of the Europeans. Many materials were mined from these hills. The ancient Pueblo Indians extracted turquoise and uh, it's a beautiful mineral in which many artisans make jewelry. Uh, when the Spanish came through here they found gold, silver, and lead. Unfortunately, uh, the Tano Indians were used as slave, slave labor, uh, so that's unfortunate. But uh, as many years passed, uh, as war and famine left the place quite empty, uh, it was rediscovered, this town of uh, Cerrillos was rediscovered in 1879. Uh, well, by a couple gold prospectors. And when the, when the word spread, this place became a real town, a booming town. Uh, the word spread fast, so people from all over the world came here to mine all sorts of different uh, materials. But by about uh, 1900, the mines started to uh, shut down and the town started to dwindle. Only a few buildings remain. I think this is pretty much it right here. We'll walk around, take a closer look, but uh, wow, can you imagine? The booming town had a hotel, saloon, all that fun stuff. And uh, by the way, a couple films, at least a few films were filmed here, uh, including Young Guns. Now what's interesting too is there's a lot of talk about ghosts. Many people have said 
that uh, they've seen silhouettes of uh, of the Indians and uh, of soldiers in full uniform. So let's walk around and see if what we can see. Wow, I really do feel like I'm transported back in time. This is awesome. Nice mural. From what I read, they still have uh, still have mass here every Sunday. That is awesome. Check out the courtyard here. Uh, this must have been a must have been the hotel. Wow. The blackbird. Maybe that was the blacksmith. Very photogenic town, that's for sure. Can you imagine sitting here and Just uh, ready to go out and mine some gold. Mary's Bar. No longer in business. Now it says Cerrillos Bar right there. Wow. No miners allowed on premises. I don't want those miners in here, huh? Well, gotta sell them some supplies. Wonder how old that painting is. Very cool. Very cool. Surreal Station, Gallery, Mercantile, and whatnot. And whatnot. There's gold in them thar hills.
beautiful little shop. This is the Briggs building, built before 1893. What's going on over here? Is that the wind or a ghost? That's weird, I just saw this gate swing out all the way to almost shut out here, Then, there, but there's a brick right there. What the heck? Okay, I'm just seeing things. Here's another placard over here. Tiffany Saloon and Restaurant. 1889-1977. Be darned. Okay, I heard a door open over here. That swing is swinging a little bit, but I think that's the wind, but... What the heck is... <laughs> I heard this door open! Unless someone's in there and they peeked out to see who was out here. I don't know. Maybe I'm just freaking out. <laughs> okay, that's uh, pretty much Main Street. Just a few buildings. And uh, looks like there might be something else in town. So let's take a quick drive around and see what else the town looks like. And it's getting warm. Let me take my jacket off. Bye, ghosts. Clear Light Opera House. Wow, look at the uh, rock work in there. That's incredible. Well, all right, all right, all right. Scenic view. That is pretty scenic. Check out those hills. You can tell where those were scraped away. Hey, what's the noise? Some beautiful chickens. Ah, look at all the doves in there. Oh, some baby chickens. Hey, baby chick. Oh, there's a bunch of them. They're cute. Look at you all fancy, fluffed up. Wow, good looking chickens. I like chickens. Goats. I guess that's a, a llama? Or is that a camel? No, I don't, I don't like getting close to them because, uh, yeah, you. I'm talking to you. I You spit on people, so... I don't like that. Yeah? Hi. Oh, you are cool looking chickens. Good looking goats. Now look at all these uh, white and blue glass things. I think they have something to do with the, uh, I can't remember, some electrical or uh, uh, telephone poles. Wow, they have quite a collection. Woo! Here comes that wind again. Oh, check this out. A bunch of old equipment. And uh, looks like appliances. Then in the windows there, there's tons of bottles. Quite a collection. What is this? Oakland? Belleville? I don't know. 
washing machine? Huh, here's an old motor with uh, spark plugs in it. You think that'll run? Yeah, everybody's been pretty friendly saying hello and hi. This place looks a little scary though. Well, that's a look at Cerrillos. Wonderful town, uh, very interesting history, and uh, so worth the trip up here. Really just loved it, hope you did too. Now, we are close enough to Santa Fe, Santa Fe, New Mexico. We're gonna head up there, just for the heck of it. Let's go. Would you look at the size of those wolves? Lobos. I don't know if you can tell, but they, I think they're about 15 feet high. Okay, we finally made it to Santa Fe. Went through some beautiful scenery on the uh, back way, the back roads to Santa Fe. But I, I love Santa Fe. I'd come up here anyways, but it was just nice and close. But the main thing I came here for was the oldest house in Santa Fe, and some say the oldest house in the U.S. I've never seen it. Let's go check it out. Uh, this is it. Entrance to the oldest house. Wow. Ah, this is quite incredible. Check out this old fireplace right here. Smaller shoulders. Uh, this is a bad batch of love potion. I guess I better watch that stuff then. Ah, <laughs> uh, yuck. This is a small house, the oldest house. It's amazing. Love this doorway right here. Cigar Store Indian. 
Well, that was pretty interesting. Very small, but check out the outside here. Pretty, 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 pretty cool. Historic Santa Fe Foundation finds this building worthy of preservation in the oldest house. Now what kills me is the last time I was here, I think it was last summer, I parked down the street here and uh, walked up through this area. I walked right to this church right here. This beautiful historic church right here. San Miguel Mission. I was right here and I had no idea that the oldest house was right there. <laughs> right across the narrow street. How cool is this, making adobe bricks over here? Wow. That looks like a lot of hard work and a lot of fun. Well, I could spend all day in Santa Fe. I just love it. But it's been a long day already. Still have a ways to go back, but uh, I think this is going to do it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. It was an interesting day. A lot of cloud cover, but pretty nice. A little humid. Saw some really interesting stuff. Again, I hope you liked it and hope to see you very, very soon. Take care of yourself and those around you. Bye for now.